on everybody we are back again with another one saturday last day of training or kind of last day of jujitsu i'll be you know going to the gym tomorrow but final day of, of jujitsu uh, this is day uh, i've been to every class today <laughs> i've been to every class this week so um yeah so six days of training and um yeah just just another one just another day just another week completed just another opportunity to get better that's how i look at it feeling am i a little sore today maybe maybe just a little bit so and that's the reason why i've actually made some adjustments to how i've been eating as well so for the uh, longest you know when it was competitions and things like that i was doing intermittent fasting uh every day you know no no breaks no hiccups 16 hours of fasting windows and uh, I decided that, you know, I want to take a step back from it just to just to experiment with a little bit. You know, I've been studying other different methods and how often to intermittent fast and what other principles can you use uh, to go along with it. So I've definitely broken intermittent fasting since then. The way I've been doing it now, depending on just to see it's just an experiment. I mean, I might be wrong. I might be right. Who knows? But because I'm now trying to just put on more size and it's really getting my body back to a healthier state. Uh, I decided to break fasting, intermittent fasting, a couple days out of the week, especially when I know, like today, for example, it's gonna be jujitsu, I'm gonna be in there until you know the, the doors are closed, and then immediately after, I'm gonna head right to the gym and, and go train. I'll be in there uh, maybe just like two hours. So it's when I have a training session when they're all just pretty much just grouped together, and it's gonna be, you know, four hours, you know, total or whatever, maybe a little bit longer, then it's like, okay, I know I'm not gonna be eating. I wouldn't have an opportunity to eat anyway. So I do break the fast and I, I pretty much just eat normal uh, throughout the day and and see how that works. And lately it's been working. Uh, lately it's been working, nothing crazy. I mean, it's still pretty much along with my macros with how I would usually um, do my macros when I am fasting. But now it's just spread out a little bit more across the day. And at least now before I go to Jiu Jitsu, I can just start with an actual meal, which today, which every day, is usually just 100 grams of oatmeal, um, a little truvia, and I put some peanut butter in it. And that's how I usually start Jiu Jitsu. And I usually eat it maybe like an hour and a half before, and I go and train. And I'll do that maybe about two to three days out of the week. I won't fast. I'll just pretty much just kind of start start the day with the regular uh, eating routine, uh, keeping my macros high. That is one of the major differences, though, um, coming into this rebuilding and just getting getting back to uh, how I used to look and lifting heavy and things like that. Is now I am eating more calories um, because the breakdown is more. You know, I'm training jujitsu with the same volume. And now my focus is to get stronger. My focus is to lift heavy, you know, very heavy. You know, the focus is to get strong. So it's more opportunity to break down muscle tissue. It's almost uh, more opportunity. It's almost, I'm sorry, as well as it's more opportunity uh, to sometimes get injured. So you want to just always make sure you're at tip top peak and you're always allowing your body just to have an opportunity to recover, not, not only through rest, but through the proper nutrients getting in your system. So that's kind of been my philosophy. And I've studied like a few uh, other, you know, diets and how it, I hate using the word diet, but for the sake of it, you know what I mean. But I've studied a few more that kind of goes along with what I'm trying to accomplish and the activities that I do and the activity level, and it seems to work. So I've been doing it for a couple weeks now and it's been great you know i've been able to you know train at a high level you know the next day i'm not waking up just completely just wrecked and tired and my weight has been increasing but not drastically and that's the whole point when i told everyone okay i'm going to go back to you know my usual size and how you know how much i used to weigh and i want to go back to being you know going heavy everyone thought okay you're just gonna get fat and i was like no that's not the case back in the day that was the case definitely i would do like a dirty bulk and just like shoot right up in weight, walk, and then basically wearing sweatpants, baggy shirt, looking crazy, and then die down when it gets closer to the summer. But now it's just slow, steady, you know, just being very patient, just being more methodical with everything that I'm doing, charting everything as much as I can. And just, you know, sometimes just playing it by, not playing by ear, but, you know, just listening to your body, you know, just listening, how am I feeling today? Okay. Um, 
training, I was already tired by the second or third roll. What was different? You know, what, what was, did I sleep enough? Did I eat enough? You know, there's other days where I feel I can train eight hours a day. So just always just listening and then making your little notes in your head or if you want to write it down, that always helps. So that's uh, the latest story with the eating portion of things. And uh, today's gonna be a rough one, I already can tell because it's just gonna be straight through training and usually Saturdays is when, well, actually every day, all, all the, the killers have been in there, but um, you know, the Saturday just kinda like everyone really just kinda like gets in there, you know, so it's gonna be a fun day and then I'm gonna head to the gym and then yeah, that'll be it. So I'll definitely have some videos for you guys today and I appreciate you guys watching. So I'm gonna dig into this oatmeal because it's starting to get cold. I'll see you guys in a bit. Let's go. What is going on everybody? That is a wrap for today. Finally made it in here. It was rough. I am, like I said earlier, I'm so exhausted. We're gonna see how far I can get with this next workout, but um, yeah, it was just brutal. Saturday is always like that. You know, it's just like the end of the week, your body just beat up. You know, all the rolls were, were hard. I'm sweating like a madman, but um, it's good though. I'm still, I st there's still a smile on my face, but it was rough, so. <sighs> Soaked, about to uh, go dry off, <laughs> brain fart real quick. Um, and then yeah, let's go head over to the gym, let's get some more in. So stay tuned, I'll be back in a bit, let's get it.